Hello everyone, and it's Master Shi here, and welcome to my fifth episode of the Fallout 4 Let's Play. Uh, I'm still uh, playing with uh, Krieg, so uh, yeah, it's this is my first time again playing this game, and I just uh, had the uh, New Coca Cola DLC uh, purchased, so it's now implemented into this uh, playthrough, as well as the other uh, uh, settlement DLCs, I believe. So yeah, this is my first time again playing this game, and uh, if, uh, we can check my uh, equipment. So I have mostly leather, leather uh, pieces for my armor, but I'm looking forward to uh, equipping metal or combat armor. And we won't be uh, going with uh, power armor, and that's because uh, we are playing role playing as Krieg as much as possible. And Krieg doesn't wear uh, that big of an armor, although he is quite tanky. So without further ado, let's uh, continue playing. By the way, to set the stakes a little higher, um, we will uh, increase the difficulty of this uh, playthrough into a... Uh, into survival difficulty. <laughs> it's, a, it's a big jump. And it is this keep keep things exciting, and it's because mostly we were one we we're one shotting enemies uh, when I last played this game. So let's go let's go with this. Survival adds additional challenges, including no fast travel, saving only when you sleep. That's a huge deal. Increased lethality, sickness, fatigue, and more. See the survival entry in help for details. So yeah. All right, so immediately, uh, just upon uh, turning into survival, our character's already uh, <laughs> encumbered. Our character's encumbered. I think we have too much um, stuff. We're carrying too much things, and I didn't know that um, I, the, the, the items would be heavier with uh, survival. So yeah, we have to put in some some stuff here. So we've offloaded some most of our uh, items that were causing us to get over encumbered and so the main goal of this playthrough will be to uh, have a staging point. What do I mean by uh, staging point? So it's gonna be like a, a, a stopgap uh, base where we where we can uh, sleep and save our save our game before we get to Diamond City. So my goal is to go to Diamond City now. I think it's part of my main quest. So here, go to Diamond City. So I have some other mis miscellaneous quests also, but yeah, uh, let's try to go to Diamond City in survival difficulty. And let's begin that quest now. Oh, it's from the diner is here. Oh, there's a raider. Yeah, let's get close. Oh, still one shot it in survival. Oh, there he is. And we've leveled up. Is this is this really survival? Yeah, it's it's really survival. I guess it's because we have a had a head start with the level ups. With the gaining levels, and that's why we're one-shotting uh, even the simplest traders. So let's hold tab to open the first chart. And since we're going with a melee tank build, uh, this is my perk selection. So we have toughness for damage resistance, uh, big leaks for the melee damage. So let's go down. So how do we go down? I forgot how to. All right, there it goes. Just scroll down. We also have Life Giver, Adamantium Skeleton, and Rooted, because this gives us also additional damage resistance while standing still though. So uh, we just leveled up to level eight and we're gonna get, I think they, oh, this one's level 15. Can't get that. This one's at level 9, so we'll probably get us at level the next time we level up. So Life Giver is a good uh, perk choice. 
Uh, we we are also going with armorer, uh, blacksmith. Uh, we don't really need th need this because these these this is a uh, he for heavy guns. Uh, this one's good to have strong back, but it's like, uh, yeah, it's second priority. This one, we're not going to use a lot of guns because we're going with a melee build. So it's this one. And this one may... It really depends if we're going with power armor. But I'm not planning to go with power armor for this build, so might not take it at all. So here in um, Perception... Yeah, I don't think there's not a lot that can serve us in a melee build. But I'm looking at Demolition Expert though. I'm thinking of something like uh, setting up mines and then there's this uh, melee weapon that uh, when you hit your enemies they fly away and you can hit them into a minefield. So that sounds useful. I can just go with the Life Giver. It's a safe choice. Yeah, this also helps, I guess. And the Mantium Skeleton is also good. Yeah, I think I'm also, I'm also thinking of getting this one. Uh, radiation now regenerates your lost health. So that we might not even need to take this uh, Rad Resistant. If we're going with this one. Yeah, Solar Power is like on the back burner also. Oh, we definitely also need uh, Charisma. And... The main reason for that is Lone Wanderer. So when adventuring without a companion, you take 15% less damage and carry weight increased by 50. So this is really good to have. Uh, I would have wanted it right now. But we're still two charisma points away. And I'm also looking at, for now, I'm also looking at Idiot Savant. Because uh, this, this is just good with anything, really. So that, that, those are my uh, perk selections as for the time being right now. Not sure if I'm going to go with anything else. Oh yeah, and uh, with agility, we're also looking at uh, Blitz. And so that we can, uh, we can close the gap very quickly. So we're not going to like uh, rely on VATS a lot. But we are going to use VATS for uh, bridging the gap between us and our enemies and that's where blitz comes in unfortunately we're still so far away <laughs> nah, so that's in the back burner also so right now i guess it would be good to take uh life giver i guess let's go with life giver so those are perk selections for now Oh. oh, there's a legendary super mutant. Wonder if I should go in the fight. Oh, Mr. Gut is also quite a high level. So yeah, might not be a good idea, but yeah. Oh, we got with the wounding backer. Oh my god! <laughs> Wrong move. Oh no, we 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 we're all the way back to. Uh, oh my gosh, this is pretty bad. Yeah, all our progress erased just like that. <laughs> That's so unfortunate for us. Lesson learned. Uh, don't fight the legendary the legendary enemies just yet. So we died, and uh, that's why we're uh, transported all the way back to the last bed that we uh, slept on. Unfortunately, we'll have to do everything again. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, Lesson learned, don't engage in fights with high level enemies when you're still a low level guy like me. Especially in survival mode. I think we got cocky when we encountered the raiders. 
I thought we could one shot them, but we did kill one of the legendary super mutants when his, when his back was turned to us. But we, uh, yeah, got <laughs> essentially two shot by the Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, just keep going. Oh, there's a house there. Wonder what what uh, what we can get there. Yeah, let's explore a bit. Let's see what stuff we can get here. Nothing in the mailbox. Oh, there's oh. someone. We've been friends for over ten Who's years. This Ron guy. Where does the time go? Oh yeah. Oh, he's now his name is Scavenger. Oh wait, this is Ron. <laughs> How's it going, friend? You're welcome to join us. Pull up a patch of dirt, stump, old tire, whatever suits you. Take a load off and stay a while. The good fellowship's on the house. The drinks are how I keep body and soul together. Can I get you something to drink? Oh, this guy's uh, a traveling bar. What? I think it's only now I encountered this guy. What is this? A traveling bar? I have a lot of friends. I make new friends wherever I go. My friends like to join me for a drink. What can I say? It's a living. So far, the wandering life suits me. I see the world and my friends always know I'll be coming to visit soon. So, can I get you anything? Okay, well, let's see what uh, Ron the Traveling Bar has. Sure, let me see what you got. My selection is uh, a bit limited right now, but take a look. All right, so yeah. What do I take here? Oh, this is their, so this is their shack. This is theirs, okay. Oh, but I can get there first aid here. It's yeah. always good. Oh, wow, we can sleep here. Yeah, let's take a chance to sleep here so that we can save. Great, right, that's neat. Now we can go be on our merry way to Oberland Station. There's a power armor here, but we don't have the fusion cores. We left them all in a sanctuary. No way I'm cracking this. Yeah, so we can't do that either. Just get the right away and be off. So yeah, let's keep going south until we reach... Uh, oh my gosh. Dogs again. Alright, so let's not dilly dally. Let's just take the life people for the health. Called Rack of and, uh... Was that a radio or was that a... Or were those people? Alright, there's a lot of rats there. Stay away. Oh! My god! What happened? Ghouls. Right, I'm not sure if I should be near them. I think one of the ghouls just blew, flew away here. Alright, so the ghouls are dead. Subway token. Oh my gosh, the rads. Nasty. Let's just go around. Yeah, maybe I should have taken the ghoul perk. And what's this here? There's a wall. This is the junk shop? Junkyard? Oh, this is the different junkyard. It's a different one. Chalper Brothers Disposal. Wonder if there are evil elements in this area. Oh, nothing. Nothing to build. Nothing to craft. Let's go, let's go. Oh, again. The rats! More rats again. They're quite painful. <laughs> Are you increasing your damage? Stay awake and get more kills to increase the bonus. Sleeping will reduce it. Oh, I didn't know that. Let's get the meat. Just get the meat and go. We can cook. What else is here? Oh, what's this? What's that area? I mean, what's that place? Yeah, let's do that later. Some part of our objective right now. Oh my gosh! Okay, one one shot at the rabid. Meat. 
meat. Let's go. Oh, there's a corpse here. Oh, there's a nuclear grenade. Sweet. Squirrel on a stick. Sugar bombs. A light bulb. Oh, this is a Child of Atom member. Don't know why they're here, though. Oh, wow, this place is so empty. Oh! A flying ragstag. Never mind them. <laughs> Let them live. <laughs> they're just harmless, docile creatures. And we're in Grey Garden. So let's take whatever we can. I think there's a merchant with one of the... Um, Mr. Handy's here. What? Yeah, we can do that later. Oh, supervisor B. The price is always right. Shall we make a deal? Yeah, of course. All right. Confirm trade, then let's go. Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. Oh. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. Nice. You need Robots humans. can do simple tasks, sure, but you need a human being to make the big decisions. Ah, but that's where Grey Garden is unique, darling. <laughs> We're not just simple robots. We have a unique social structure. A hierarchy, if you will. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, Green and brown possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. Okay, I remember him. He was one of Robco's senior engineers, but more than a little eccentric. You seem a bit confused, darling. You're far too young to remember anything that happened before the war. That's where you're wrong, darling. <laughs> I was in a vault. They put me in cryogenic freeze. Remarkable! I must say, darling, you seem very well preserved. Now, where was I? In Grey Garden. Robotics <laughs> and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. Well, uh, a scientist who likes watching TV? I'm not sure about that. Great. Just when I thought I was finally free of television. A few other things you should know. Talk to Green, if you need supplies. If it's caps you require, Brown might have a few or jobs. Uh, there's one other thing. A question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? Water? The water? Oh, it's ghastly. That's what it is. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but... Perhaps you could lend us a hand. So this is the classic, um, everyone needs you to do something in Bethesda, in Bethesda games. Alright. <laughs> marvelous. Simply marvelous. Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. Oh, sounds neat. But man, we still need to go to Oberland Station. Let's drink. Are we drinking? Or are we just pumping? <laughs> Is there a bed here? No? Oh, we can harvest corn here. That's sweet. Okay, up in here. Search. You're an ally to the settlement. Oh, we. I think we have to do their quest first, and then we can be allied with them. Yeah, sadly, no, no beds. That's why Oberland Station is the uh, first base that I want us to establish. 
even before uh, sanctuary so that uh, we can sleep there <laughs> oh I think this must be the water treatment facility that she was talking about must be oh there's a oh my gosh so they're enemies Unfortun uh, fortunately they're not the legendary types so yeah we can engage them if you want let's go Is he really an alpha? Why is he just alone? <laughs> no wonder he's the alpha because he's alone. <laughs> oh, here it is. Oberland Station, guys. I hope there's a bed here we can sleep on so that we can save. More potatoes. You are allied to the settlement. How do we get allied to the settlement, though? Oh, I think it comes as a regent quest. Yeah, it does. Oh, here's. Oh my gosh. We can't sleep here. Can't sleep here either. Who? Oh, that's it's bad news. So dead. The raiders here. Dead. Oh my gosh. Got it. Beginning to enjoy uh, do using melee. <laughs> so um, yeah, I think there's change of plans. Wait, 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 what is that there? It's like I'm not sure if there's a uh, if there are beds there that we can sleep on. Well, I was definitely looking forward to uh, building up the settlement, but I think it does come up as a regent quest first. So while we are here, uh, I think it would be unwise to just go to Diamond City without having slept on any bed. Although there's Vault 81 here, might be able to sleep there before we head to Diamond City. So yeah, let's just let's just go to Vault 81. Yeah, Vault 81 will be our um, stopgap uh, place before reaching Diamond City. Must be here somewhere. Oh, it's a ghoul. Great. I can't. Why can't I jump here? Oh, now I can. So. Yeah, the ghouls. Oh, yeah. Now they're here. What's the other one? Oh my god! Started me. I think there's another one. Here. Pack of cigarettes, let's go. And we're really low on life. So let's use a. Yeah, let's use a steam pack. Where's the uh where's the bolt though? Is there somewhere we can sleep here? Yeah, if there's a bed that we can uh sleep on for free. Let's use that. Oh, I think the vault's here. Must be. Or not. Oh, okay. Not sure where I am now. Oh! What's this woman doing? She's a settler? Oh, a sleeping bag, sweet! Now we can sleep. You can sleep more than three in a sleeping bag, but hey, uh, at least we we we're able to save. So this this is nice. So yeah, at least uh, we can save here. Only found out now. So should we still go to a uh, Vault Eighty One, or do we just head to Diamond City? I think we just we should just head to Diamond City. Yeah, so let's go down and see. We're in the right path. No. Let's turn left until we until we're parallel to the railroad. 
there's a structure here. I want to check what it is. Way station. What's in here? Oh my gosh. A dead settler. Oh, there's nothing else here. That's about it. Let's go. Let's head to Diamond City. Oh my gosh. Okay, they're the weak uh, ghouls. We can fight them. Ooh, that is fast as heck. What? That's insane damage for just getting hit thrice. What the hell? Anyway, let's go. So, let's look, take a look at the map. Yeah, where this is, I think we could just go straight. We have to take this road. But I believe there's a lot of enemies uh, on this um, on this side, I think, on the turnpike. But yeah, let's take our chances. Who knows? I think there are raiders here, somewhere. Yeah, I think I remember this to be a raider, uh, raider place. Wait, they're dead. They're dead. Oh, this one should be alive. What did that happen? I slash her foot. Yeah, I think we could just go straight through here. Oh my gosh. The raider. I wonder if we should if I just if I should just wait for them to come near me. Nah, who cares? Let's go. Uh, I want blitz already. That's it. Wait, we're almost dead. What? I suppose we should take this. Wear it. Yeah. Oh, it is harder down. Let's go in. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, this place is hostile. This one looked like a good mark, so let's shut up and I think wait. there's a lot of enemies here. That's bad news. You shut up. What if hey, hey! Told you to stop talking! Say another word, and I will make sure that you don't try to sneak a bit. I'm not sure if what I'm doing is a good idea. <laughs> I think it's a bad idea. Are there enemies here? I think they're here. It's a lot of dead bodies. Gosh, I hope I don't run into a death blow. Let's check those bodies. Nothing? Got nothing on them? Stay quiet. Don't know what we're dealing with here. Not just yet. What's flooded here? Oh, I'm not sure where to go. There's stairs here. Let's go up here. enemies inside duct tape take that okay we're making some noise we're supposed to be the lead tank but we're sneaking around <laughs> I think it's a bad idea Let's wait. I hear 
or something. He's there. Hey, time's up. Oh, God, the three of them. 